Dear Ministry, Mugliani, friends and colleagues, good morning. I could not join you in Jakarta this time, but I look forward to meeting you soon again. For Brazil, recovering together and stronger has meant to put in place a broad and ongoing vaccination program. More than 95% of our adult population is fully vaccinated. We offered emergency assistance to 68 million Brazilians. Our job preservation program protected 11 million jobs. In 2021, we created 3 million formal jobs and 6 million informal jobs. The unemployment rate at 11.6% is lower than at the beginning of the pandemic and is consistently moving downwards. While dealing with the virus, we kept our focus on fiscal sustainability and structural reforms necessary for a sustainable economic recovery. Our objective is to transform Brazil into an open, sustainable and inclusive market economy of mass consumption. GDP in 2021 expanded by approximately 4.7% after dropping 4% in 2020, less than half the 9.7% drop estimated by the IMF, placing Brazil with only eight other G20 economies to recover to the pre-COVID levels. Our primary deficit dropped from 10% of GDP in 2020 to 0.04% in 2021, best level since 2014. Gross debt, doomsayers said it reached 100% of GDP, is back to a manageable 80% in 2021. Public expenditures dropped from 26% of GDP to 186 These are facts that few other economies match. It. Brazil will continue to surprise on the upside. Pessimistic forecasts have consistently been proven wrong. Our GDP dropped less, recovered faster, and we preserved solid fiscal fundamentals. We approved the independence of the central bank, we digitalized all federal public services and reduced the import tariffs. We approved the bankrupt law, the startup law, and reduced inefficient regulations, improving the ease of doing business. We approved new regulatory frameworks to attract private sector participation in oil and gas, sanitation, railroads, railways, 5G network, which resulted in investment commitments of more than $150 billion for the next 10 to 12 years, with $40 billion in auction proceeds. Private investment will be the source for sustainable economic growth. On the environment side, we stand by the sustainability commitments reached at the Paris Agreement and at COP26, and we launched an ambitious green growth program. We also celebrate the formal beginning of Brazil's accession process to OECD. Brazil's democracy is noisy, we can all agree, but this administration has achieved results that, given the global pandemic, are nothing short of a silent revolution. Thank you very much. See you soon. Stay in good health.